Okay, this is the first video of the series of working with a foal. Uh, I'm Ted at uh, Windy Hill Farm, Handy Horseman YouTube channel. What we're gonna work on today is we're gonna work with a bear and a baby. And the baby's about four months old, I think. It's a little colt, about four months old. Uh, the mare's name is Jade. Uh, we haven't named the baby yet. We're gonna try to let him earn a name. So if anybody's got name suggestions, feel free to comment or send us a message. Uh, we get so many horses, sometimes we run out of names. Uh, it's a nice baby. It's PRA, uh, which is a little Appaloosa type horse, about 14 hands the mother is. And I'd say the baby will mature to about that size. Um, I wanna go over my equipment first. This is just a standard lunge. I hate to use the word whip, but I like to use the word wand. It's got a, about a six foot tail on it. And that's what I'll use here at first. And then I'm gonna to graduate to my stick and flag. Um, I'll show you that in a little bit. And then this is about a 55 foot round pin. That's my preschooling area that I work in a lot. So uh, if you're gonna do this, you need to have a round pen. You can't do it out in a big open pasture or you can't do it in a confined area. And if you do it in a square pen, you know, the horse or the colt can get into a corner to avoid you. So that's not good either. So uh, what I recommend is a round pen and uh, nice, I'd say six foot lunging whip and then I've got my halters over here and my 12 and a half foot uh, horseman's rope. We'll get to that in a little bit. And that's the equipment we need. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take and uh, just work them around and evaluate, first of all, just the physical structure here. You know, we gotta make sure this baby is just gonna work where if, if the baby's crooked legged or if it's got some type of physical defect, well, there's no further, no sense going any further. But like right there, see how the baby canters off and it's got nice straight legs and uh, its its feet are worn very evenly. It's never had its feet trimmed yet, but they're very even. Uh, I've seen it where the colts have got crooked legs and their hooves grow crooked. Well, you know, that's not gonna go away. That's always gonna be that way. But this little baby's nice. I mean, it's a nice, correct, sensible little baby that's got uh, nice confirmation, very similar to her mother. See how when she trots around, she kind of moves like her mommy, okay? So, I gotta confess, I'm cheating a little bit. I worked with him about 20 minutes earlier before lunch today, and I brought him in here, and I left him in this pen about, oh, I'd say three or four hours. But what I wanted to do is just not rush in here and rush and try to work with that baby and put a holder on it and try to do this and try to do that, where I can tell you, a lot of the success to this depends on how you handle things. If you're in a hurry and you're pushing and you're forcing, and you're kind of ramming around, well, that's gonna cause a lot of frustration and confusion with the horses. And if you'll notice, all I wanna do is just, it, through softness, I, I don't wanna get in here and race them around and chase them around, where a lot of people round pin wrong, where, I, I mean, I even see these doggone TV guys, they're, and CD guys, they're just running the horse in a circle and getting them tired. Well, this is a schooling process. And I wanna come from a walk to a trot and I wanna obtain softness and, and relaxation in my horse. And I wanted to get used to going in a circle. Now think about this for a minute. This little baby in its life so far, it's just used to going in straight lines. 
So now we're introducing the baby to circles, which is gonna be a big part of its life as we start schooling it, because you school most generally in circles. So it's kind of like my energy has a lot to do with what's going on in this pen. So I'm being very graceful about it. I'm keeping everybody moving. And I'm doing everything I can to not get this baby afraid. But you see, and this is what I wanted you all to see, is see how that baby kind of mirrors what the mom's doing? And that was the whole purpose of this experiment, is that I believe that if you do this with the mom, about, I'd say, two, mo two months before you wean, you're gonna save yourself a whole lot of work someday and have you a real nice horse. Uh, uh, over the years, I've raised a lot of young horses. We've bred a lot of horses here. And, and anybody that's done that a lot will tell you that a foal takes up its mom's behavior and attitude. And I'll tell you what, if you got a real tough old sour mare, most generally that baby's gonna be that way. So if you get into that situation, I'd say separate the baby from the mother before you start working with it. But here you got a nice sweet mare that's gonna teach this little baby kind of the business. And we were talking about it the other day where this little colt right here is kind of like the equivalent of a child that maybe is three, four years old, let's say five years old, that you can be 50 years old and have bad experiences before five years old that you'll never forget. You know, I can relate to that, that when I was under five years old, they put me in the back of a station wagon and I got so car sick, I wanted to die. Well, I promise you, you'll never get me in the back of a station wagon again. But there again, there are other memories that were very good. I can smell an apple pie from a half a mile that, you know, my grandmother baked me an apple pie and uh, I can smell it from a half a mile and that's a good memory. So I tell you that to tell you this is, so let's try to make some good memories here with this baby. Let's make this where this is a pleasant experience for the baby. And it's not exhaustive and it's not frightening. And see how mommy's going along, she's got her head level and I'm just gonna try now to walk the circle, okay? And regulate my energy to where everybody just walks now. We're gonna walk the circle, okay? Now, our goal for the end of the day, I've set a goal is I'm gonna have a halter on this baby. But I'll show you here in a little bit. We're gonna, to, to get between here and there, we're gonna do a few things before we do that because what I don't want to do is have this baby get afraid when I put that holder on. And if my hunch is right, by the end of the day, we're gonna have us a sweet little baby to work with, okay. So let's go ahead and pause it and we'll come back here in a little bit and uh, see what kind of progress we've made. 